Hey y'all, welcome back to Rated RPG. Last night I released an irate video about the fact that EA has cancelled a new up-and-coming Star Wars game. The story was originally reported by Kotaku's Jason Schreier, and he has since expanded upon the original drop. It seems that the game in question, aka Project Orca, was in fact the same open-world game that was once a more linear game led by Amy Hennig. To clarify, at one point Amy Hennig, the extremely talented director of the Uncharted games, came onto Visceral to make a new Uncharted-like Star Wars game, codename Ragtag. Well, when fans heard about this, we were ecstatic. I love Uncharted. I loved playing the Uncharted games. I love the story direction. I love the characters. I love the settings of all four games and Lost Legacy. I know it took more than just Hennig to make the Uncharted games, but the fact she was able to direct and release such masterpieces in their final states is an indication of just what could we could have expected from this game. But EA, in its infinite wisdom, ha! decided to shut down the game and shut down Visceral Games, uh, quoting some BS survey that players no longer cared about linear games and only wanted live service games. I think the hatred we all bear for Battlefront 2 and the adoration we feel for games like God of War, Red Dead 2, Nier, Persona, Horizon Zero Dawn, just to name a few uh, linear single player games from the past few years, proves just how full of crap EA is. And take notice, people are tired of and just frustrated with the live services offered by the likes of Destiny and The Division. After Visual shutdown and the laying off of the staff, the game data was all sent over to EA Vancouver, and development began on an open world Star Wars game, as I said, codename Orca. The likes of which I could only assume was some sort of MMO light, as it would have you traveling through various open worlds, engaging with different factions. That sounds like games we have seen in the past, but the whole point of EA's shuttering of the original Ragtag was they wanted it to be more live services, something that they could presumably make money off of through microtransactions of some sort. So to me, that points towards a mmo light type situation. I can't say uh, whether or not this would have been a good game. We never saw a title. We never saw a teaser trailer. But what's ridiculous about this situation is what EA has demanded of Vancouver. After shutting down Ragtag to build it up into this massive project, EA told Vancouver, nope, we need something by late 2020. Orca is just too big, so shut it down. Apparently, they are going to be beginning development of a new Star Wars game, but what will it be? Will they make a new game entirely, or will they revive Ragtag? And if they do, will they bring back Amy Hennig and all the other folks they screwed out of jobs? If they bring back Ragtag, I'd like to be the one guy in the office who just ponders out loud. Huh. You know, if we hadn't canceled this game before, it'd probably be done by now. Then people wouldn't hate our guts. You ever see that meme of the uh, office superior asking his underlings for ideas, and then you got the two people with the mainstream ideas, and the one guy who says something either stupid or just obvious, and he gets tossed out the window? I imagine that EA has probably broken a few windows. So, I guess we need to wait and see what EA does to hurt the franchise even more. Disney, you know how the community feels. A monkey with a Commodore 69 could build a better Star Wars than EA at this point. So, get Bobo on the line, will you? Hey there, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.